Mumbo Jumbo, Luxor Quest for the Afterlife. Whoa. I remember this from Luxor 3. The music. It's a guy. <laughs> My rest for the afterlife is disturbed. Well, uh, I feel bad for you, lady, but who are you? Assassins have already desecrated the body of my husband, Akhenaten, so his canopic jars could not be filled, and he could not ascend to the afterlife. Oh, now that's fucked up. That's like damnation. But gee, her voice is quite sexy. Uh, shut up, malware bites. Oh my god. Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Now these same mortals desecrate my tomb. How dare they? Who dares destroy a sexy lady's voice's uh, journey to the afterlife? <laughs> I almost fucked it up. <laughs> oh, Arten, my god of radiance. Without my canopic jars, my car, life force, and bar soul cannot join to become my eternal Ark spirit. Well, uh, hopefully I can help you. <laughs> Only when I become my eternal Ark Spirit can I resurrect my husband. Then we should definitely make you become the Ark Spirit then. <laughs> Both of us okay. are now bound to Earth until our life forces and souls are extinguished. Yeah, you guys are on a ticker. A timer. No one will prevent me from finding a way to reunite with my beloved for eternity. But I must have those jars. That's right. Villains, you will not escape. Yeah. <laughs> That's in awesome. Life, my husband wow. Took the place of the god Horus. In death, he becomes Horus. Hmm. And will power the falcon wing to smite our enemies. I need someone of my bloodline to wield it. Okay, so from my knowledge of Egyptology, Horus' wife was Nefertiti, or should I say Nefertiti? Ha! Got him! Ha! <laughs> yeah. Uh, bad Let joke. Let <laughs> your name be known. Okay. My name will be known. And it is Magnus. Not Magnuds. There we go. Magnus. Very good. And it's gonna be on hard. <laughs> okay. Well, I do it on hard because it's a bigger accomplishment. I feel way more accomplished when I do that. Instead of crummy easy mode where it's too easy and I don't feel accomplished at all. It's like giving yourself a one plus one problem instead of uh, find the derivative of x to the x. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's actually, actually not that hard. So, okay. Well, let's do it. Um... <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Magnus the Great, and welcome to Luxor Quest for the Afterlife. Now, I haven't played this game very much at all in my childhood, I've probably played it once or twice. I don't know why it didn't stick with me, but... Yeah, um, we're gonna do it on hard mode, because I'm a boss. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, kindred of my own bloodline. Get all the artifacts and canopic jars, so my life force and soul will combine into my celestial arc spirit. My eternal Ark will find a way to resurrect my true love. True love! Nothing can beat it! Nothing! <laughs> also, nice titties. I bet Horus misses those. I bet he does. That's a sick transition, oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the sounds in this game are amazing, but they're incredibly loud, so hopefully I can change that. Okay, thank God. Wow. Wow, okay. I'm terribly sorry, guys. Wow. That was insanely loud. Okay. And I'm gonna make this the highest I can get it to be. Here we go. This looks good. Hope that didn't screw everything up. Okay, yes, these changes are okay. All right, very good. <laughs> Luxor. 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 I can read that. Thank you. <laughs> you are in Luxor, Egypt. 
Select Memphis to begin your quest. Try it now. Hmm, I don't think I want to yet. Wow. <laughs> this is a really big game. Whoa, lava. I bet that's where the final boss is. I don't know who the final boss is, but we'll find out. All right, so we're, we're, we're not staying in Egypt. We're going out towards the Middle East. Persia, India, and Nepal, I think. The Himalayas. <laughs> okay, so let's go to Memphis. Like, I remember this game a little bit, but I'm guessing it's a journey style game where you can choose different paths to take. So these episodes are solely going to be based on what I want to do. So yeah, um, let's start our journey. Let's go to Memphis. Not Memphis, Tennessee. No, 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 no. The ancient city in Egypt. Let's do it. Okay. You may travel to this city, Memphis. All right, time to travel. <laughs> yeah, that that transition's awesome. Classic mode, stop thief. Okay, shut up, I know how to do it. I've done this before with the other Luxor games, but understand it's a tutorial for the newbies. Okay. So I haven't played Luxor in a long time, so I apologize for anything- Oh my god. It put- it gave me the wrong balls. Okay, so I apologize for anything stupid that I do, because I haven't played Luxor 3 in a few months. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Oh! That was stupid! I wasted the cloud on there. Wow. That was that was terrible. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, get these out. So yeah, Luxor games they're always super fun. Sometimes they're too easy, like the newer games is like this. But yeah, it's bound to get harder sooner or later. I haven't actually played the entire game, so yeah, we'll find out sooner or later of how hard it actually is. I know there's an insane mode, but we're gonna have to unlock that first. Alright, um... Why? Oh, okay, that was weird. Okay, I thought it was gonna roll back into the the green. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, my perception was wrong. Haha, <laughs> lightning! Ka-chow! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to say... I'm not going to do FNAF 2 yet. I'm going to do it after I do this series because I'm nearing the end of the semester of school and I don't want to stress out to the point of giving myself a heart attack and getting scared to death. Yeah. Okay. You received a You received a piece of the Eye of Horus artifact. Cool. This is not the work of a simple thief. My husband and I made many enemies when we cast out the pantheon of deities. Then why did you Only do it? A prophet follower of one of these deities would dare to break my precious artifacts and scatter them in pieces. All the pieces of an artifact must be recovered before it can be assembled. Okay, but why did you cast out the people of the pantheon? Or the, the deities of the pantheon, why? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you make enemies? Why? Sounds like your problem. <laughs> Just kidding, but we gotta help her anyway. New store item unlocked. Okay. Yeah, she took the words out of my mouth. Yep, she will say everything. Oh man, I wanna touch those. No, no, November. I'm gonna fail it to this game. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm, I'm stronger than that. Okay, so stop, thief. And I'm rank one bloodline of Nefertiti. Total, okay, and I'm not going to read the total score, I'd, I messed that up in Luxor 3, so I'm only going to say the level score, so level score, 90,120. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> wow. Raw! <laughs> Classic mode, swiftly hidden stones. That disappears rather fast, I don't really like that. Okay. Um... Uh... Really? Okay. I done the dum dum. Okay. And okay, I missed something, but I don't care. Ha <laughs> Yay! I got something out of the Ark of the Covenant. Because <laughs> that's what it looked like. 
I wonder if God will get really mad at me for that and burn my face off. Melt it off, I mean, yeah. That scene was grotesque and really well done for its time. They like melted wax in front of a heat gun and made layers to make it look like someone's face getting melted off. It was really well done. It scared me shitless as a kid. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Also, another thing that scared me shitless actually didn't quite scare me shitless, but even today it looks absolutely grotesque and awful. The thing. When the thing assimilates the people and destroys them and stuff, it's like... <coughs> yeah. Ugh, it's, it's, it's gross. But really cool. <laughs> well... The, the, ooh! I got uh, an achievement for Human Net. You received a piece of the Eye of Horus artifact. It's the other piece of the eye. <laughs> cool. It's like the Atlantean omelette. All right. Uh, swiftly hidden stones. Level score, eighty-three thousand three hundred. Okay. Third, third level already. <laughs> okay. Classic mode, Starry Night. Okay, it's not quite the same. It's not the same as uh, the one in Luxor 3. Oh, nah, that, was, that didn't happen, guys. That did not happen. You didn't see anything, right? Madagascar, that, that's a great movie. Come on, there we go. Okay, I got an artifact. Okay. 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 I probably could have cleared out that mess, but oh well, it's fine. These levels are easy anyway, for now. Okay. Um. Here we go. Oops. Oh my god. Okay. And. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze! I'm gonna <laughs> Splat! <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okie day! Uh, here we go. Ah, ha, ha. Nets are still quite useless. They've always been kind of useless. Especially in Luxor 2. Oh my god, that would, that would get on my nerves when I get a net, when I need something else. Ooh. That was one of the reasons why that game was so hard. It's because of how random it was. <laughs> Rings of power! My precious! Ah! <laughs> awesome. This game's pretty fun. Ooh. You received a piece of the Scarab Artifact! You have earned a new rank! Yay! I'm moving up in the world! <laughs> you have earned a new rank! Rank 2, Tiller of Soil. Classic. <laughs> Alright. Starry Night. Level score, 81,240. Okay. All right, what's the next one? Hmm. Oh! Battle mode. Win the battle and collect the treasure. Stolen treasure is in the center of a train of spheres. Make matches to create pushing scarabs. Scarabs added to your side of the chain increases your pushing power. Hmm, okay. So I just need to get matches against this boss. That's a really cool looking, uh, shooter. Okay. I gotta do it before he does! Whoever he is, I will stop him! Alright. Uh, uh, feck and... Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'm winning or losing. It's going on to my side. I think I think green is good. If it was pushing towards the red, that would be bad. 
<laughs> okay. This guy kind of sucks. Oh man, that was so dumb. Haha. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you might as well just wait and watch. Because he, he pretty much lost. <laughs> okay, go in there. Ha ha ha! Obliterated! I have won the battle! <laughs> Yay! You received a piece of the Eye of Horus artifact. Ooh. Cool. Thank you, my champion. You defeated the fool, Kerheb. He was the mortuary priest assigned to feed my car and protect my tomb. Before my death, I sent him to the farthest reaches of the outer world. But why? The path to recovering my artifacts leads beyond the confines of Egypt. You're kind of an architect of your own downfall, Nefertiti. Why would you do that to someone? You look like the bad guy here. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just do. Kerheb... I don't know what he did, but... I wouldn't want to be transported to the edge of the world. Uh, the the earth is not flat, by the way. I'm thinking about it in ancient times where people were not dumb, but not informed. They haven't discovered that yet. Christopher Columbus didn't sail the ocean blue back then. So, All right. So, defeat Kerheb in Memphis. Level score, 29,750. All right. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. You have all the pieces. Assemble the artifact by dragging each piece to the outline I have conjured. When you complete your task, I will fuse the artifact and make it whole again. Okay. Will you let me penetrate your hole? I'm just kidding. Oh my god, I'm dirty. See, this is how horny I am. In the middle of No Nut November, you never know what's gonna come out of my mouth. Or any guy's mouth, actually. <laughs> wow. Eye of Horus Artifact completed! Yes! Excellent. <laughs> Ooh! So I can go back to Luxor. I don't think there would be anything... There would be no reason to do that. Maybe there's a secret. I don't know. But I don't feel like doing the levels to get back. Because that's an entire episode in there. So, and next time we have to go to Tyre, which is in Syria. So yeah, we're going to be out of Egypt very soon. Wow. Okay. Well, uh... Let's see what this is. It should tell me where the next piece is. Oh, it's somewhere in here, so I gotta do that. Hmm. Okay, um, yeah, um, pretty fun game. Different. Um, I like the style, like, first of all, the music is really good. I love it. Like, listen to that. It's almost on par with Assassin's Creed Origins. Like, that. it's that good. So... Alright, so that's it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye! See you later! <laughs>